Oh, hey. This either. How you doing? <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Octavian. And today, we're going to talk about how to get a job with no experience, right? Uh, this is, uh, I'm aiming for, like, the target audience is more so people that are trying to get their first, like, job out of high school or if you're trying to get a job, like, um, on your college campus or something like that or something that never really had a job. Uh, regarding regarding getting your first job after your college degree and like uh, or um, yeah starting your career I have another video that I'm going to put out um, as well so um, yeah that's that's going to be regarding those uh, those people that are interested in that but this video is regarding yeah getting your first job just just a simple job that you're trying to do um, trying to get some extra money some side money whatever uh, trying to get into the job market so as it was for that make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel and let's get it okay so the first thing is to aim for a job that requires um like i guess that's on lower skill level lower skill level um so this just is one of those like uh quick turnover rate jobs um, that usually they, they already have a prior history of hiring people that, uh, have little to no experience that don't take, um, any like too really, uh, doesn't take like schooling, too much schooling to be able to do. So this includes like fast food workers. This includes, um, movie theaters. This includes retail shops. Um, this includes like car wash, like any service industry job that's, that's pretty in line with uh, with the jobs that you can do. Uh, along also along with uh, maybe better pay and better conditions, you can do reception work or secretary desk work kind of thing. That also is good paying, um, and they don't require too much skill or schooling prior to it as well. Uh, so aim for those jobs because they're like I said, they already have they typically already have high turnover rates. And they already have a prior history of hiring people that are in college or in high school that are looking for short-term stint jobs just trying to get in the workforce or however long uh if you're trying to do it for like throughout your high school or college career for like a couple years then that also they're comfortable with because they understand like you have a part-time schedule so um you're not going to be dedicating your whole life to that specific job and you're not that as committed to that necessarily so you're going to just be helping out that is it's a lot easier to get those kinds of jobs because uh, of the, the already history behind the job. So yeah, those those are probably the first options I would recommend when applying for a job with no experience. And this is like legit no experience. So like you, yeah, you never worked anywhere. Maybe like you sold candy, extra candy for you have from Halloween, or maybe you like uh, you mowed some lawns or shoveled some snow, something like that. But yeah, the, the, besides this, is, I'm just talking about like the government taking out your taxes job. That's what I'm talking about as your uh, this little part time job or whatever. So uh, also um, number two. Second piece of advice I would have is for the job that whatever you're applying, I would say do a little research about the job. So uh, you can look up the company's website, look at their mission statement, any of that regular stuff just scrolling around the website seeing what they're about seeing what they do all that stuff because uh if you don't have experience some employers kind of look at you like oh you don't have an experience we don't want to risk that because we don't know what they are what they're like as a person whatever whatever so uh coming into the interview um and applying for the job like you you can show your your that, that you can outweigh your experience with doing your due diligence and actually like looking up the company, figuring out what they stand for, their, their motivation, and then understanding the position that you're actually applying for. That also is very beneficial. So that could also play to your favor um, in the interview and on the application. If there's like a question regarding like, uh, why do you want this job or something like that? It's like, of course I want this job because I want to get paid. Like that's the clear answer. But like uh, they may want something that shows that you actually read their mission statement or their policy or what yeah explain like something that's that stands out specifically for them so if you want to work at mcdonald's um like make sure you know something about mcdonald's and their mission statement <laughs> so then like you 
so you then you're you're a better um you're better mark uh marketed i guess you you stand out you stand out uh versus the other applicants but mcdonald's has a high turnover rate anyway so you're likely to get that job anyway um but yeah of course yeah for the i also put out the video about my recommendations for getting your first like career job i guess yeah starting your career after you get your degree whether it be your bachelor's your master's your associates after trade school uh phd all that good stuff like uh what i recommend about uh how to get a job after how to get a job i'll call it how to get a job with no experience but a degree <laughs> how about that no experience but a degree dot dot, dot but a degree i don't know um but yeah thank y'all for watching uh make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments what is your recommendation for getting uh a job with no experience maybe you have some tips that i don't even know or, or so like i would love to hear them um from the comments and see what y'all got to say but yeah make sure to like comment subscribe i'll catch y'all later peace